Hello, uh, today we are going to have a debate with Professor Patrick regarding whether we need God or not. And uh, I would like to ask first Professor uh, Patrick to tell us, have you been atheist uh, always or? Uh, no, uh, I was baptized as mm -hmm. a Protestant mm -hmm. uh, Christian and uh, my parents put me in a, a convent school, a Christian Catholic school. Yes. So when I was a child I was a big believer okay. and uh, in Sweden it kind of it's not an important topic so it kind of fades away but I still was a believer until uh, I went to India okay. and I, I, I encountered Hinduism All right. which is a very intellectual religion okay. and it has answers to questions that um, Christianity doesn't even ask like Christianity tells you where do you go when you die mm -hmm. and Hinduism also answers where were you before you were born mm -hmm. and and it's it, it was I was amazed that is that this religion existed and I was very very interested and but in the end I couldn't choose which religion is true yes. is it Christianity or is it uh, Hinduism okay. and I started evaluating the truth claims in both and found that they don't really work. So no, I lost my faith in everything, all, all gods. Okay. Um, I have to tell you about myself, yes. that, uh, although I'm also born um, Muslim, but at the age of 25 I started to think about God and his existence. After some days I came to this conclusion that no, he doesn't exist, because there is no any evidence on his existence. And uh, I can say today that that was lack of my knowledge. <laughs> yes. And later, when I got better knowledge and experiences, then I realized that I was wrong. There is a God. And I realized that Abrahamic religion are message of God. And I found out that Islam is the final message of God. And now I have come to this idea and believe that it doesn't matter that God exists or doesn't exist. The most important is for me that can this God guide us to a better world or not? I have seen uh, debates between believers and non-believers, like Professor Richard Dawkins. I think it's familiar for you. We spend money and uh, time, write books to disprove God, and there are believers who try to prove him that God exists. And I think it's based on time that if God exists or doesn't exist, it's not the most important question. The most important is that can he guide us, can he help us in our problems? And even Christians discussing Muslims that uh, Jesus is son of God, or they say he's God. Muslims say, no, he was a prophet of God. Even this one, for me, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. if no. he. It's very crucial to Christians, yes. you know. And for me, it doesn't matter that they are discussing this. Doesn't matter he God, he's God or son of God. Doesn't matter or he was a prophet of God, or they say Christians says that uh, Muhammad wasn't a prophet of God. It doesn't matter. For me, most important thing is that what they did, even what they did in the past, if they were good, if they did something good for us, is not the most important. It's good to know, but the most important thing is that can they save us today? Can they solve our problems today? If they cannot, yes. then we better follow a prime minister or a president who can solve our problems. So what kind of problems we have today is prostitution, drugs, war, insecurity, every bad needs we have. And in Abrahamic religion, especially in Islam, uh, God says that your source of problems is the Satan, the devil. And, sorry, I was going to say, tell you first that if I can prove today that an illiterate man 1400 years ago, Muhammad, in a time that uh, the best knowledge was reading and writing, that was the greatest knowledge at that time. If I can prove you that he had this, he knew the source of all our problems, and he knew the solution to all our problems, then rationality tells us that he definitely wasn't an ordinary man. Well, 
1400 years, somebody, an illiterate man, knew the source of our problems and he tried to guide us to a perfect world, a world without all bad deeds. Perfect world, I'd say, a world. You were telling me uh, many things yes. at once, so can I answer Yes, please, yes, yeah. yes, please. So, so first, it doesn't matter, for example, if Jesus is God or not. Well, it changes everything. If, if Jesus came to us and sacrificed himself so we could be forgiven, yes. then that is the path yes. to truth. That's what Christians believe. Yes. If he's not God, then everything there is false in that mm -hmm. proposition. Yes. It doesn't matter what he said, he wasn't just, he was just an ordinary man or a prophet, but he was not uh, the, the gateway to God as yes. the Christians yes. would claim. And the same thing goes for Muhammad. If he was the prophet of God, then he is channeling someone else's language, so to speak. He's, he's telling us not his own words, uh, but uh, God's words. Uh, and it matters a lot if that is the truth or if he was just a wise man who has said some things um, that were put in a book. Okay. Uh, that were his own invention, so to speak, okay. because there are many wise men throughout the ages that have told us uh, ways to live and which way we should behave in order to reach a better world and so yes. on, and the source of our problems for yes. that matter. Uh, so it, it, it makes all the difference in the world if they are speaking the words of God or not. So you cannot put away the truth claim and mm -hmm. say that has no bearing, okay. I think. Yeah, Professor, sorry, I just would like to tell you this once again. That if God exists yeah. and he cannot solve our problems, okay, it doesn't matter that he, he's going to take us to heaven or hell, okay, it's not about that. It's mostly about can this almighty God can he solve, help us to solve our problem? Not that he solve it himself, but he guide us. He tells us from where comes your problems and what is the solution to your problems. Mm. If he cannot do that, and uh, a president or prime minister can do that, mm. then we better follow that president or prime minister. Mm. We better worship that person mm. than Almighty God who created the entire universe and he cannot. Uh, help us to do to change our life today. We have so many problems and we cannot solve it. Okay, yeah. I think it's a bad idea to worship humans, even if God doesn't exist. Okay, humans we know are not fallible. Worship. Yes, we, not we, worship, we, but follow. Well, yes. we can follow. We yes, have to exactly. follow a lot of people. Yes. There are many wise people yes. together. We yes, have yes. to exactly. solve so our problems. So, follow, I mean, to follow this wise person, this prime minister, mm -hmm. not to follow God who. Almighty God who cannot save us, who cannot help us. But no. I am going to uh, prove you today that that illiterate man, 1400 years ago, mm -hmm. he knew the source of all of our problems and he knew the, the, the solution to all of our problems. He, guide, he would try to guide us and unfortunately, majority of people on the planet, even today, they don't know what he wanted to really say. Mm -hmm. Just few people have started to realize it today. Okay, and he said that the source of our problems is the Satan, the devil. Okay, and he described the Satan like this: that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all bad things. Most people they read it and just pass by, without analyzing. But I have been analyzed such things that okay, if God exists, so His word is chosen carefully. So when he say that Satan spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all that, it means that he is the one who spread poverty among us. He's the responsible for poverty. And in order to guide us to bad deeds, he needs first to spread poverty among us. And so now you're telling me that not only does God exist, okay. but also Satan. I, I'm going to tell you that one, okay? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not going to tell you that Satan exists Okay, and I'm not going to tell you that he doesn't exist. Okay, I'm going to describe and open this, this uh, quote, okay. this fact that who is Satan? In order to get rid of our problems, we have to uh, find out who is real Satan. Is he that angel that has been described? That fell from heaven. Yes, or he he was the, 
rebelling God? Is he that or someone else? Which I'm going to tell you, you know, he's someone else. He's created by us. I'm going to tell you. <laughs> so you're claiming a lot of things. But, yes, yes, I mean, exactly. Uh, you, but, so you're, you're saying that God exists? Yes. And he spoke through Muhammad? Muhammad and all prophets of God. Okay? All prophets. All prophets of God. But the, 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 the most, final one was Muhammad. The most true yes. revelation was given to Muhammad. I cannot, I cannot say the most true. I can say the final one. You know, professor, when you go to school, yeah. first grade, second grade, because you're a child, you yes. cannot go to directly to PhD, to university. So step by step, you learn slowly, slowly. So this was the way God tried to teach us things. Mm -hmm. In the past, first he said that I exist, that you have to follow me. And then some, you know, some words, some uh, rules, slowly, slowly, until he came to Muhammad and he put everything there mm -hmm. that can guide us to that world because he created us for that. He created us. All of us are born as animals, but we, some of us, die, live and die like human. Many of us, unfortunately, live and die like animals. Okay, and he tried that to guide us to a world that everybody live and die like human beings. Okay. So you're saying monotheism, so basically Judaism, Christianity, Christianity and, and Islam, Islam okay. but not Hinduism, for example. Hinduism, for me. I, as you said, you went to India. Yeah. I also went to India and I changed my past, um, you know, claim that God doesn't exist. When I came across Hinduism, I realized the difference between Abrahamic religion and uh, paganism. Okay? I realized that these religions are imagination of people. People have made up everything, okay, here in this religion. How did you do that? Uh, um, and how do you know that? Yes. Uh, Abrahamic oh, yes. religions. Okay. Uh, this is a uh, uh, professor. I would like to talk about it after we talk about uh, Abrahamic religion. Okay. But you want me to accept a lot of yes. things before yes. that I can't. Yeah, I will tell you that. Okay. Yeah. Just just one of them, I will say. Okay. Just one of them. Professor, I I read that um, there is two um, theory about the how the world ends, expansion theory and the pulsing theory. But both of them says that the world will end one day. Okay? And in Abrahamic religion says that there is an end to this world. But in Hinduism they say that forever is continuing this uh, reincarnation. Okay? Now the jury is still out on that question actually in, in natural sciences. So time, there is no end for time as we know it. No, but, uh, okay, but as we know there is an end for this world, this universe. Okay? No, actually not. We, we know it will dissipate and yes. and die, kind of, a heat death, but it will not like end, there's no No, no, the, point. not end, but we will not exist at the point, okay? The planet Earth will be destroyed as well, okay? Mm, yes. The universe, the whole, whole both, both of them, yeah. as I know, both says that it will collapse once again. Ah, no, okay. it will, the, the, the current, expansion says yeah, that it, expansion, will it will become cold and, and, and forever, forever finish it. Yeah, so it's no end there. Okay, but uh, no life will exist anymore. Mm. Okay, so we are not going to be again reborn, as they say, as they claim. Oh, the, okay. okay. So we will, there is a yes. stop, okay? And the, in uh, pulsing as well, there is a stop. Again, we will become like gas. Mm -hmm. There is no life anymore on this in this but now you're mixing the supernatural and the natural in a very liberal way. That, yes. I mean, I can argue about heaven with you, yes. for example, and All right. say that it's, it's not uh, possible to have uh, heaven okay. I mean, as a physical thing. Yes. But it's not. Okay. And this reincarnation is the same way. Uh, it's not a natural, yes. to natural phenomenon. Yes. Uh, you asked me how I came. I just uh, answered you. This was one of the reasons that I started to think. But yeah. as I said, yes. As I said, that it doesn't matter, Professor, that Ganesha, the most um, worshipped god of Hindus, mm. is a piece of wood, or he's the almighty god, as I said. If he can solve our problems, mm. then I will worship Ganesha. But I told you that I found this, this, uh, the solution to all our problems mm -hmm. in Islam. That's why I follow Islam, okay? okay. And that, Going, trying to tell you that one, okay? So, uh, Muhammad says that Satan spread poverty among you and I. We were telling you that, uh, we were talking about that. 
So the source of um, that uh, the poverty is the, the Satan. Satan is very poverty among us. And the power of Satan to lead us to bad deeds is also poverty. Without poverty, he cannot. He's powerless if he can understand it perfectly. So now I come to the real world. That in this real world, we see who is spreading poverty among us. 1% of the world population, they own $110 trillion mm -hmm. of the total capital of the planet, 50%. While 50% of the total cap uh, um, population of the planet, they own less than half a percent, $1.6 trillion. And that's not shared equally between them. Hundreds of millions of people are living on $1 a day. Okay? So we see that these people are spreading poverty and they are not stopping. They want more and more than $110 trillion. They create wars, they create conflicts, they sell drugs, they, they do everything to, to become richer. Okay? They make coup d'etat in different countries okay, to become richer. And uh, they spread poverty among everyone else. So now we have to think that are, is that 1% the Satan that spread poverty among us? No. It's the system that allow them, allow them to gather so much money and spread poverty among hundreds of millions of people. Now I give you a, a, a clear picture, Professor, example, that who is the Satan? According to Abrahamic religion, okay? And I have so many different proofs that who is the Satan in Abrahamic religion. Imagine that, Professor, you are the owner of grocery. I am hungry. My family is hungry. I come to your store. I steal some food I go. According to God, Abrahamic religion, Satan fooled me to steal. That's the source of all problems, they say. Okay? Exactly. You, you get it, yes? The, I'm not following. Uh, Satan, Satan. Satan fooled, fooled the, the hungry person? No. The, no. Uh, God says, in the Quran that Satan spread power to you and lead you to prostitution and all bad deeds. Mm. So the source of all bad deeds is the Satan. Okay? He is the one who fool us, who guide us, lead us to bad deeds. So the bad deed I did in that picture, I came to your store and stole some food. Abrahamic religion says that Satan fooled you. Everyone of us, uh, everyone, they know that, they say that Satan fooled people to do bad deeds. So now I make another picture, Professor. Imagine that you live in a world where the grocery is not yours, you just work there. And money doesn't exist, okay? Everybody live for each other, they share with each other. I come to, your, to the grocery that you are working, I take whatever I need, and I say, thank you, Professor, and God bless you, and I go. We see that the second picture, there was no any Satan. It didn't exist. No one fooled me to do that. But the first one, there was. In Afghanistan, Professor, 90% of the world uh, opium is produced by Afghan farmers, and they are Muslims. Why? Because if they produce tomatoes and potatoes, they can maximum sell it 10 cents, 5 cents. And they might, it might get bad. They might... Uh, not be able even to sell it. But opium, they can keep it even, they can sell it hundreds of dollars per kilo. So what lead them to produce opium in the potatoes and tomatoes is the money. Is can I stop you? Yes, please, yes, please. Yes, so we back up. Yes. So these very poor people um, that uh, have nothing to eat. Yes. Uh, so, uh, in, um, Basically, before someone, this 1% of people owned 85, yes. there was a time when this was not true. Yes, yes. The poor people were still there. Yes. Can I please uh, explain even that one? Okay. Yes. First of all, um, uh, uh, there is yes, one yes. more problem. Yes, please, yes. So, so actually, it was worse than that because there were more people that were poor yes. during that period yes, than yes. there are now. Yes. Now there are less poor people. Yes. No, no, no. I mean, poverty is, of course, is decreasing. Not less people, yes. Uh, but this, uh, uh, Professor, this system has always been there 
that people have been lying to each other, have been robbing each other, attacking each other. Oh yes, that's a human since, universe. Yes, yes, since we started come out of the cave and hunting and start to farm, mm -hmm. then we tra the trading system started yes. and people realized that they can gather. Yeah. Yes, the so the problem uh, I want to Yes. you to answer also. So there are two problems. The poverty existed before this 85% owned yes. the... Um, this 1%. This 1% yes. this one, yes. this one owned 85% yes. of the world. And actually there are, the poverty is decreasing in the yes. world. So people are getting healthier and happier uh, every day yes. and getting food. So, yes. so if you want to put the blame in the economic system, uh, I don't see how you can... Yes, please. Uh, yes, I can tell you, Professor, that uh, in the past, I mean, this system has always existed since we started to farm, okay? The trading system, okay? Yeah, and, even, uh, even yes, earlier. Yes, actually. even, not uh, bef when we were uh, hunters. Well, it's, it's one of the earliest signs of uh, human, actually, uh, this, our type of human. For, yes. So it's the 150,000 years yes, old yes. trading, yes. they can see, trading yes. with shells. Yeah. It's a very interesting. Okay. That's a little bit yes, difficult to go back all this uh, time and know exactly what was the. But the, the problem has, for me, always been this trading. And I gave you examples. Yes. That so so you are you are against trading actually, or what? I'm against I'm against the the system that allow people okay to uh, gather so much capital. I mean capital at all. This trading system uh, make people, for example, to sell drugs. If there is no money, mm -hmm. if they cannot sell it, Afghan farmers are not crazy to put their themselves in danger to do bad deeds. They know that it's a bad deed. So they, they will produce tomatoes and potatoes instead of yes. uh, opium. But for example, I live in a house. Okay. I cannot farm there because okay. it's a small house. Yeah. And I couldn't live like that if there wasn't for trading. Okay. I have to provide my work at the university okay. and get money that I can go to the store yes. and so on. I mean, it doesn't work if there is no trading system, it, all this collapses. Okay, so uh, Professor, um, that comes the, um, the importance of God, okay? Mm -hmm. When God tells us, I will, I'm first of all trying to, uh, to uh, recognize the Satan which God says, okay? When God tell, tells us that this is the source of all your problems, okay? And the solution is to get rid of this, this source, okay, this system, which I better tell you right away that is the capitalism okay, okay. that I'm talking about, okay? So are you advocating communism? Again, um, it is uh, right away, I'm talking about God, I'm talking about Islam, okay? Mm -hmm. So is Islam advocating communism? Islam it? Has, doesn't have anything to do with communism, okay? okay? So maybe they have, of course, they have also the same, like John Lennon. Mm -hmm. Also, he was he, he wanted uh, equal war, okay? So if they also believe in something nice, it doesn't mean that God has gotten this idea from them. They have come to this idea, but God has given us a perfect system, okay? Mm -hmm. Guide us to a perfect system. He says that the source of all your problems, and I identified the Satan for you, that in the first picture which I described for you, uh, Professor, Satan existed because of money. Because I was hungry, I came to a store and stole. Mm -hmm. But in the second one, there was no Satan. Satan didn't exist. And you are a professor, you understand yourself that, as I said, farmers of Afghanistan they would never, never produce opium if they could, couldn't sell it. If money didn't exist, they would produce potatoes and tomatoes that we need. And about... They wouldn't produce... Um, I mean, in France, for example, they produce wine. Okay. And you cannot live on wine. Okay. But I like wine. Okay. So they, they wouldn't be able to survive okay. on growing wine. Okay. Uh, I will come to that one also later, that uh, wine... Alcohol, okay. Okay, good. Bad example. Yes. Let me say. Bad example. Alcohol yeah, yeah, yeah. shouldn't be either. Uh, no, uh, I, I understand. Like cigarettes. So to tell me something. There's um, the uh, spices. Okay. Uh, you cannot survive on spices. In which For way example. you cannot survive? 
But because you need potatoes and um, you need food to spice. Yes. But to but in order to farm spices, you you have to be able to export them and sell them. And so yes. you would, you would kill the spice market no, if there no. was no trade. Yes, pro pro professor, you. Uh, you're always going now to this uh, capitalist system to sell. Yes, I'm talking I about yes, yes. I'm talking yes. I'm talking about a system where we don't sell. We just share with each other. Okay, mm -hmm. God wants us to live in that world. Okay, that we sacrifice for each other. Everybody. That's how it comes. That's something else. That's the second step. But what God wants wants from us is the first step. That okay, this is the source. Okay, when you know the source, then the solution is to get rid of this source. For example, if you have a tumor cancer, yes. and you, you have pain everywhere, you have to get rid of that tumor cancer. Maybe, maybe you lose hair in that process. Mm. But it is something that you have to take in order to, to live, to survive. We are destroying the planet because some people want to get richer and richer. They don't care about even pollution, about global warming, about war, about anything. They create war everywhere because they want to sell weapons. Mm -hmm. They want to become richer. They kill so you're saying that capitalism is the tumor? I say that capitalism is the Satan, the yeah. devil. And we can, according to God, we can get rid of this capitalism, Professor. Mm -hmm. God says in Quran again, Professor, it's so beautiful when I know it, okay? God says that there is a limit time for Satan. Okay? This is, this is a story, mm -hmm. of course, that God has put it, this code, this uh, reality in a story. When Satan said to God that, in that story that let me fool human until end of the days. God said, okay, you can fool people, but not until end of the days, until a limited time. Okay, so if we uh, put zero, the time they were talking, he was created. And the end of the days put 100. So Satan's time will get finished between zero to 100, before 100, okay? Let's imagine, Professor, that his time finished at 80. And tomorrow is 80, today is 79.9, tomorrow is 80, okay? Tomorrow we wake up and Satan doesn't exist anymore. You think Assad will stop to bomb people? You think that those farmers are in Afghanistan, they wake up and say that, oh, why am I doing this? No, they will continue as long as this system, capitalist system exists because they have to put food in front of their children. Yes, and for I that- That's they, a good reason. <laughs> and for but, that, for that, yeah. sorry, for that they need to sell yeah. to get money. So as long as this system exists, no bad deeds will disappear. And even if we accept that Satan is an angel, if I accept that and is creation of God, then it doesn't matter if he exists or doesn't exist. We still continue to do bad deeds. Mm -hmm. So the most important thing is that to get rid of this system and share with each other, okay? And God has told us in his law, okay, that that is the devil the source of all your problems and the solution is the equality. How he says, he tells us. He tells us, stand towards Mecca and ask me 17 times a day. Show me the right way. We, this is the most important thing in the prayer of Muslims. Show me the right way. He showed us the wrong way, the wrong ways we are living today, Professor. Prostitution, drugs, all bad things, which I described for you coming from right. the also this. Sorry? Also this. I mean, we have housing and we have lights and we have cameras. And so that's not the wrong way. That's the, that's a, has, doesn't have exactly. anything to do. No, but this is a product of capitalism. All okay. this. You, you mean, sorry, sorry, Professor. So can I give you an example for yes. this camera, for yes. example? There is no one person who can make a camera. Okay. Because you have to extract oil from the ground to make the plastic. You yes. have to know how to program computers. You have to yes. have factories to make the ships and, yes. uh, and everything. Can I this is the it's a big, big, yes. big collaboration. I you, and the, the driving mechanism mm. for making people sacrifice so much time to work on this yes. is that they can get some profit from it. Okay. You cannot get there. Yes. Can I say something, Professor? Yes. Professor, I don't say that in that life, okay, in that world, everybody sit home and say that I don't get money. 
I'm not going to work. This is absolutely wrong, okay? This is, um, I can tell you that I'm following an organization, okay? This organization, uh, I don't talk about it now, okay? This organization is a Muslim organization, okay? And uh, they have thousands of members. They had a city in Iraq, which was unfortunately bombed by uh, Americans and British. The name is MEK, People Mujahideen, okay? And I'm following them. And they had a city there, okay? Women and men, they were working there, sacrificing everything, professor, their lives. They were, they were going from USA, from Europe, highly educated people, going to Iraq, there in that city, and fighting against Iranian government, a fundamentalist government, not for money, professor. Mm -hmm. And they were doing the most sacrifice, okay? But they were get, getting killed, professor. Professor, in Second World War, uh, in St. Petersburg or Leningrad, people were eating dead body, mm -hmm. okay? But they were fighting, they were not getting even a cent. They were fighting against Adolf Hitler. If you give people a belief, yes. they because, do everything. Uh, actually, not, they can do anything. You anything. see, if you look at the IS, for example, the Islamic State, yes. they also have a belief okay. that makes yes. them, motivates them to do okay. horrible deeds. Yes. Exactly, yes. So it's a, it's a dangerous... Depending on which ideology. Yes, absolutely. Exactly. I, exactly. And, and one thing history teaches us is it's that uh, when some person comes and says, look, I have read this holy book, yes. and I have deciphered the code, okay. you should be careful, because there, are, there have been many, many such claims. Yes. I think, for example, if you go to an Islamic scholar in Egypt, in the Quranic school in Egypt, they would not agree with your interpretation. Okay. Or, or if you go to a, 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 someone in Iran or yes. wherever, there is no, there's very few people who yes. agree with your okay. interpretation. Okay. So you have to, I mean, I mean you... Can I ask you a question? Yes. Please. I'm not talking to ISIS I'm not talking to uh, those, uh, I don't know, those fundamentalists or uh, other people. No, the I'm scholars. Talking, yes, yeah. scholars or whatever. I'm talking to a professor, yeah. okay? That's why I'm asking you, isn't it rational, professor, that the source of our problems, what I'm saying to you, hmm. isn't it rational that the source of our problems is this system that allow people to trade that in, now I heard, for example, in Mexico, they, uh, these drug cartels, they, um, they adopt people and kill them, thousands of them, mm. and so on. Why? Because they can sell drugs. Yeah. They can go to uh, deep in the forest of Amazona and then uh, in all uh, Latin America and produce cocaine mm. and then... Uh, export it all the way to USA and make billions of dollars, okay? If this system doesn't exist, they would never do this, Professor. Believe me. They, I can give you a, an example, w one more example. Professor, um, imagine that we live in that world that I described for you. You cannot buy, you cannot sell. Everything is there for everyone to take it, okay? And we learn to to take as much as we need, okay? We learn to live for each other, okay? We learn to live for God's way, okay? Because he wants us to live in that way. So, uh, you have TV, you have everything home, for example. Why should I come to your home and steal it when I can go to a store or whatever and take it mm -hmm. without paying it? You don't need even to lock your door. We will not have jail. We will not have army. Why do we have to attack each other when we can share everything with each other? And we are, professor, we are capable of producing everything and even developing much faster than today. For example, I'll give you one example that my home country, Iran, could be one of the best countries on the planet. We could make... Many times in, in history it has been a very good... Yes, country. but it could be because, yeah, yeah. because in 1951, we elected a democratic prime minister in Iran. And 1953, uh, UK that was taking our oil for free, mm -hmm. together with USA, they made a coup d'etat against yeah. Mossadegh, and he brought him, they brought him down. And we had a uh, king, 27 years of uh, dictatorship. After we made a the revolution, they created us a fundamentalist Ayatollah 
who rule us. And the country is now hundred times back, more backward than it was as well. Yeah. So why they did it? Because of uh, interest. All was because of interest. Well, I can I don't agree with you. But if because it's, sorry, it, no, no. I'm, 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 I would like to know that if democratic government was there, Dr. Mossadegh, hmm. you think we would we wouldn't be developed? We wouldn't be another Japan? We no, no, no. I think you would. I mean, if there would, been, yeah, if so there we would, been, maybe, we would maybe make better than this camera, for example, than Sony. Oh, we have no idea, but not without capitalism, which is the subject, right? So yes. Yeah. So the capitalism drives this whole. Yes. Okay. Now. Business. But can I back yes, up? Please, yes. Because uh, I think sharing, it yes. sounds wonderful, but yes. it's not uh, human psychology. It's not okay. bi built okay. like that. All right. um, and if I was a Buddhist, I would say this that. The problem is that we we, we want things. Yes. I, I, I like your shirt. I want it. So yes. can I go and get it somewhere or buy it? Or, but then after I get a shirt like yours and I, I look snappy, and after a while it turns old and it, I'm not happy with it anymore. And the whole problem was that I the want mm -hmm. that I wanted this. That's yes. what started this whole process. Okay. So when I'm not satisfied with my shirt anymore. Yes. It's because the, it all started with the, the wanting, and yes. that in the Buddhist way, that's what you want to get rid of. Yes, the wanting. The wanting, because okay. that's what starts okay. everything. But I don't agree with that. But but either. Okay. But um, how can you get rid of something which is in our nature? You yes. Okay. Exactly. I mean, it's it's human psychology. It's not. Okay. It's it's a it's a problem there, and we have to create a system that kind of uh, tempers our yes. flaws. Mm -hmm. We are all flawed and we have to make a system that can handle this. Yes. And uh, judging for, from a clean room and beautiful walls and yes. so on, we are managing, managing pretty good here, but we know the earth is not feeling very good, so we have to uh, perhaps uh, restructure the system in some okay. way mm -hmm. that is more globally uh, just Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. So I, I I agree. There's a problem. We have to solve it. But mm -hmm. it's not by abolishing okay. capitalism. Okay. Because capitalism, it's it's a way of using our wants, okay. our psychologies for okay. the greater good. Yes. Yes. Yes, Professor. Um, you said you gave me that example of T-shirt wanting. Okay? Yes. I said that we have to adopt a system that even you want. There is not the possibility, okay, that you gather it, okay, you gain it, okay, you want a t-shirt, if it's just a t-shirt, okay, you can go and get it, okay, it is there on, in the store, okay. For example, I give you an example again from that city which I talked about to you, that uh, this organization, they had a city, they were living there, money didn't, didn't exist, okay, somebody was a new from Iran had gone there, he told me that. I went to a store and I saw everything is there. I took several uh, pair of socks uh, and then I came in my room and I started to think, why I took several? I could just take one pair and it is there, I can go and get it. I went and left it back, okay? So this system, if we create this system, that wanting will disappear as I said, you cannot... You're you telling cannot, me that human psychology will change. Will change. Professor, I can tell you one thing. Mm. 100 years ago, or 200 years ago, if you said to Swedish that one day will come such a system here in Sweden, that you, if you don't work, this wealth, welfare system, they wouldn't believe you. They would say, ah, it cannot exist. But today it exists, and for people is. Uh, essential. It's uh, something normal. Mm -hmm. So in that world, also, it becomes normal. We are... But how does it work? It works because I pay okay. taxes. Okay. That's how does I, it work? I, I, I give money. Yes. I mean, that's the thing. To, so, yes. to an institution yes. that I trust. Oh, okay. And they give yes. money to... I mean, it's, it's a whole... It's working like this here, in this system. Okay? But how yeah, it works in, in that system? How it works in that system? It's a belief. Okay? Mm. It's a belief that we stand every day okay, in front of God mm. and say, show me the right way. 
okay, as I said. He show us Mecca. What happening in Mecca, professor? When you go there, you are all equal. You have seen maybe that one, okay? You have two white clothes on you, and the material is also decided by God. It's cotton material. You cannot have silk or another color. So there is nobody rich, nobody poor. Everybody are equal. So he showed us, he showed before that who is the Satan? Is the inequality, the capitalism. Sorry, let me please uh, continue. Then he showed us that way, which is equality. He said, now worship it. Okay, then we worship that equality. Okay, and he tells us once a lifetime you have to go there, experience it, and say to God, I accept it. And then he asks us to stone and reject the opposite of that equality, which is the symbol, is a stone, and says it's the Satan. Okay, and he said before, Who is the Satan? Satan was the capitalism. So he tells us, worship it, okay, and sacrifice for it. Okay, God tells us in Quran that the best of you, we created you men and women equally. The best of you in front of us is the one with the most sacrifice. So that world works not with taxes. That world works with sacrifice. Yes. And when I look to Mecca, I see many things. I yes. see that. I also see the king and the rich princess and yes. the gold and the. Okay. I mean, okay. dictatorship, yes. I see women who are not yes. allowed equal treatment yes. as men, I see yes. a lot of things that I would not call yes. not me good. Either. But pr professor... Mm. And I think, I mean, yes. Mohammed didn't say anything about giving equal treatment to women and men, for example. Okay, uh, can I come to that one later? Okay. Yeah, sure. Will, you, we can skip that yes, one. Yes. I mean, no, no, I will come to that one as well. I have, if you have time, I will come to that one as well. But professor, I didn't say uh, Saudi Arabia and the, the system is an Islamic system. I talked about what Quran said and what is Mecca, okay? What is happening in Arabia, it has nothing to do with um, Islam, okay? It is, as I said... That's it, a problem, yeah, because for uh, 1,400 years, yes, um, okay. uh, Muslim scholars have debated what is Islam and okay. well, how, what's the correct interpretation. Yes. And in Saudi Arabia, they claim to have, have a correct interpretation. Yes, in the great schools of Egypt, they claim to have a correct interpretation. Yes. Mm -hmm. And in, the, in, in Iran as well. And none of them come to the conclusion you are okay. claiming. So, I mean, you are... Maybe not everyone. Maybe, maybe, not, maybe not everyone, everyone I, but I, there I, are, as I said. As I said, I'm following an organization. Yes. Okay. They were highly educated. Mm -hmm. 53 years ago, they started an organization, and they accept and they believe such an interpretation of Islam. Okay. And I know clerics also who say the same thing. Yeah. Okay? okay. So there are not many. Okay. And I can understand that many of them were in the past. They didn't have this knowledge. Okay. That we have today that 1% of the world population, they have such, so much money. So in the house was different than today, okay? And many of these scholars, professor, in every religion, it is their business, professor. They work, they, it is their job to sell God, okay? And like Ayatollah Khomeini, for example. So they go to sell God. And they don't care about religion. I think they have the same motivations you do. You want to know the true okay. meaning okay. of this scripture. Okay. And they do too. No, but uh, professor, um, I, I know that... Uh, and you want to tell the world, and so do they. Yes, no, uh, the thing is that I know that many of them are businessmen, okay? And uh, they tr I, I know very well, okay, that they just, they just try to, uh, you know, to uh, make money from this... The, this religion, okay, and when they get the power, we see now in in uh, uh, example of Iran, when they get the power as well, and they have the power, they start to rob people, they start to kill people. They are rich now, and poor people are poor, okay. So, uh, and uh, for example, for example, I give an example that they their interpretation is that you have to cut fingers of uh, a thief, okay, but they are a bunch of thieves themselves. If you read. If you read the news today, Ahmadinejad was a, a president, okay? And several of his um, 
uh, his closest men now are in jail for corruption. None of them are, uh, their fingers is chopped. But a poor person who steals something, they chop their fingers. Mm -hmm. Even the leader himself, even now USA says that he's $95 billion rich from where he got all this money, okay? They are all billionaires. So these people are a bunch of businessmen, okay? And uh, they try to sell God, and uh, so they... So you believe that they're not honest? They that's are not honest, right. no, definitely so, they're not honest. So, uh, I, I, I wouldn't agree. I think their system is horrible, okay. but I think they actually are honest. They, okay. they, they think they are understanding the message of God and okay. trying to implement it in the world. And you, are, you want to do the same, actually. You have a, a message from God that you interpret and you want the world to change okay. accordingly. Yes. And I think that's, there's a problem here, yes. because this message, we don't know where it came from, yes. if he made it up or if it's an actual word of God, and it makes all the difference in the world. Yes. So why should we interpret that and not yes. think yes. for ourselves? Yes, but, uh, Professor, I was an atheist. Okay, yeah. I became an atheist because I didn't understand these things. Now I believe in it because I started to understand it. And I explain for you, okay. First of all, I just tell you about their honesty, these, um, uh, these priests or clerics. And honesty. We can agree that they're thieves. They are, okay. But I think they are honest. They think they are doing the good right how thing. Can, how can they be honest when they are thieves? For they example, think they what? are doing the right thing. That's, <laughs> okay. that's all I want to say. Yeah, but, and then but, in our okay. eyes, they yes, are but, thieves. but I, as a rational person, I see that uh, they are not honest because they kill those small thieves. They they even execute. They executed some months ago, uh, last yeah. year, two young uh, young guys. Yeah. They stole maybe hundred dollars. They were executed just for some hundred dollars, yeah. and they themselves they steal billions of dollars. Yeah. Not so they are not honest at all. They are oppressing people. They abuse everything for their own. Uh, you just check the news. Even USA revealed that this Ayatollah has three hundred million dollars. That Ayatollah has one hundred, uh, for example, million dollars, and so on. Uh, we don't but discuss. It comes before, because of you have a. I mean, even. Uh, you know Jesus. He was. He, he said, "There is less chance of a rich man coming to heaven than for a camel going through in the, the eye of a needle." Okay. That's what he said. You okay. know, you, you you cannot go to heaven rich because that means you have taken a lot of yes, things for yourself. Yeah, okay. And look at the Catholic Church today. Uh, how much millions they owe. Of course. Okay. Do they think they are doing the wrong thing? No. They are honestly thinking. They are preaching the world of this poor. Fisherman, mm -hmm. uh, a carpenter. Sorry, yes. Yes. <laughs> this poor carpenter. They are, they are his representative. It's their honest belief. Okay. It's their, they are hypocrites, but okay. they are not liars. Okay. I think. Okay. All right. So uh, this is a bit difficult to prove that they are not honest or they are yes. honest. Okay. Yeah, we can, we can agree. They are doing <laughs> the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. Now, yes. Exactly. But, but what my point is, they are doing the wrong things, okay. but they are following a book that is a holy book instead okay. of thinking by themselves and okay. people are saying okay they're following this holy book <laughs> okay. this, this comes from God so it must be right so they must be in some way right to do this and that's where this holy book problem comes in mm -hmm. because if you have a dem democratically elected government and you say well they are thieves you can vote them away yes, yes. and you can but when there is a holy book and God in the background saying this is okay then you cannot do that. That would be like voting away God, and religious people don't want to do that. That's why you, you can't have a government um, based on holy books. It's dangerous. Okay. And, and all governments that are based on holy books and gods prove that, I think. So you mean that uh, in uh, these holy books you cannot uh, <clears throat> vote them away? You cannot no. uh, change them? No, I, t I mean, could, could you vote, for example, Christianity away and, and vote in Buddhism? People don't change like that. Okay. It doesn't happen. But that, that's uh, not correct, okay? No. In reality, in reality, what I know about uh, Abrahamic religion, mm -hmm. okay, uh, you cannot, uh, you don't need to vote for a priest, okay? No, to, it's, uh, okay. it's not democratic. Yeah, I mean, you don't need to, it is the... I don't know even if they, it is uh, right to have priests, okay? Yeah. But anyway, uh, it's not about that. It's about the leaders, the leaders who rule the country, okay? Uh, in uh, Abrahamic religion, in reality, they have the best 
the, today it, it doesn't exist, okay? But it presents us the best, perfect dem uh, democracy, okay? Which I can come to that later, all right? Um, uh, about that. I will, if you have time, I will tell you later. Yes. Please remember, yes. pl please remember, uh, we have still a lot of time. Uh, remember about the democracy, I will explain for you that how Abrahamic religion have tried, God has tried to guide us to a perfect democracy as well, which we don't have it today. It doesn't exist. All I was saying now, I was trying to say is that, Professor, it is very rational, okay, to accept. I gave you examples that this system is guiding us according to God. He, this system guides us to bad deeds. Okay, I gave you different example about uh, farmers in Afghanistan, about uh, that uh, picture of that you are owner of grocery. That <clears throat> and I gave you examples of bad governments guided by the Quran. The, but that, that's you mean that like uh, Arabia? Yeah, so, okay. And, and, and Christianity. But I, I, say, I tell you that I tell you that even that one. Okay, even that one is the result of the capitalist system. Okay, mm -hmm. it doesn't have anything with religion. I can tell you one example again that if there was no coup d'état in Iran during Mossad, there would be no a dictator like Shah. There would be no there would be no uh, a revolution in 1979. There would be no Ayatollah Khomeini as a result of that revolution, which I can give you lots of. Uh, evidences that who brought even Ayatollah Khomeini in power, UK and USA, they brought him in power. I can uh, it, it take all of this information take time, but we have to go to the past to see that if it didn't happen that um, that could have So Ayatollah Khomeini was a result of this, uh, and if you check even if you check uh, Google, Google these words, history of Islamic terrorism. I came. To to the first terror, Islamic terrorism, 1981, two years after Khomeini took the power, and that was in Lebanon by Hezbollah. When Khomeini took the power, he wanted to spread his power because he couldn't build the country, so he started to spread the terrorism everywhere. So this Islamic terrorism as well is as a result of this problem which happened in Iran, not because of Islam, okay? And I have a lot of different examples and uh, evidences that he, as I said, check in Google that it start all it started from him. Okay, and now even uh, as uh, the result of this um, nuclear agreement, uh, Obama paid over hundred billion dollars to Iranian regime. Okay, and now John Kerry, U.S. Foreign Minister, he said, I agree, I accept that billions of dollars of this money that we send went to the terrorism. Okay, so. These are all the result of this system that create this type of governments, this type you of... You cannot say that just because they use money, it's a problem with the system. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the good things in the world are also using the same system. Which good things? Uh, for example, that I pay for my taxes to the welfare system. Okay. That's a good system. Okay. It works well. It keeps hungry people not hungry. Okay. So I use the capitalist system to make okay. that work as well. But pr professor, sorry, uh, if if you work in a world, okay, instead of paying tax, okay, instead of getting money, you work just for free, okay, mm -hmm. and no one, that one percent, are not able to gain one hundred ten trillion dollars. Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist, okay, and everybody share with each other. No one goes poor because even this way you do, okay, what they, you do, this welfare system, still we have drug users, still we have prostitutors. I, I know that it is less, okay. I know it is much better than the pure capitalism, okay, in many than many many countries, definitely. And this is one example also for those who think that Satan exists. One more example: the bad deeds happen much less, crime is much less in Sweden than in many, many other countries like Africa, like uh, Middle East, third world countries, like in Latin America. Why? Because of the system, not because Satan doesn't visit here, not because Satan is not here, 
Not because Satan is living there or, or visiting them more often, no. Is this the thing I told you that Quran says, spread poverty among you and lead you to prostitution and all that is their poverty is more. Even in Stockholm, Rinkeby, that area, okay, is more poor, so crime is much higher than uh, that leading girl in such places. Mm. Okay? If you leave your um, wallet in, um, in a cashier, in a store, here in Sweden, the chance that you get it back is maybe 90%, or in Beverly Hills, if you leave it there, 99 or 100% you will get back your wallet. But if you leave it in a cashier in, let's say, an African country, I think the chance that you get it back is 1%. So what guides us to bad deeds is that system, that poverty, which God tells us that. This system leads you to bad deeds. Yes. If, so, I, so if I was a real libertarian, I would say, for example, that capitalism is the cure for poverty. Okay. I mean, it's, it's but what, you mean why, why, am, why am I not poor? Because of the capitalist system. Okay. I can work and I make money and yes. I buy things and yes. so on. But, but sorry, professor, you are a professor. This poverty, poverty is the result of capitalism, isn't it? A, a, system, a no. system that allows people become rich and people become poor. Yes. This, is, this is the... the work of capitalism, that 1% have right to become trillionaires, they have 110 trillion dollars, and billions of people have less than uh, 1.6 trillion dollars. Yes, so, 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 so in, the, in the beginning of human history, yes. uh, everybody lived in caves and little huts and stuff, yes. and, and that's poverty, I would okay. say. And that's not capitalism. Okay. So you cannot say you cannot trace the history of poverty okay. with the, to the history of capitalism. Poverty exists before. Okay. It's the natural yeah, but, state but, of things. Yes, but that at that time, okay, uh, it was the capitalism didn't didn't exist. Okay, and there was no. Uh, I, I I mean people wouldn't rob each other, okay? There was nothing to, to rob. Well, if okay. they were... Hungry. We were sharing. We were sharing with each other, okay? But that's a, that's very, very... Uh, professor, it's very, very uh, difficult to talk about that time, okay? I gave you a pure example, okay, that that uh, this 1% of uh, people, they spread poverty among people. This is pure, pure example. This is very, very rational. Yes, but I don't agree. You don't agree that they, they gather 110 trillion dollars? I think it's unfair that they take all this money and oh. there are still poor people okay. in the world. And it shouldn't be that way. Okay, it shouldn't be but that But they are not spreading poverty. Poverty okay. is something that existed before that. Poverty is now something, because okay. of the capitalist system, that okay. doesn't have to exist anymore. Okay. You can take, you can tax the rich okay. and give to the poor. And I think that would be a fairer system. Okay. Like in the welfare state in Sweden, for example. Okay. But you don't have to abolish trade and capitalism for that. Okay. But uh, uh, you mean that we have to uh, follow this system that um, people can, uh, you know, become rich by any way, okay? No, I think we, you have to work with the human psychology, not okay. against it. And I think your suggestion yeah, but, works against yes. how human psychology works. Actually. Yes. But uh, uh, I was trying to tell you that uh, God has tried to tell us that this is the source of your problems, mm -hmm. the devil, okay? And the, the solution is the equality, okay? And there is a way out. And he has promised us that one day is going to happen, okay? This, this system. Mm -hmm. In Quran, he promised us. And it's in reality a Roman religion. Mm. The idea that one day Jesus comes and save us, mm. or Messiah, or Mahdi yeah. will come and save us. I think it won't happen. No. I think we will have to solve our own problems. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. What I'm telling you is that this is not the way that one person will come and save us. This is a message. Again, it is a message that there is a way out of all your problems. He has given us all guidance. He has guided us to, he has told us that this is the source and that's the solution and we have to work it out. Mm -hmm. We have to make it. But that message is that you can get rid of your problems 
there is a way out. And if we accept that there, it will happen, because what, when they come, they come to, um, to create a world with justice. Okay? That's what they say. And I think that never justice will happen if capitalism exists, because as you said yourself, it is not justice that 1% of the world population has so much no, it's money. it's justice. It's just not fair. It's, it is not justice. that Not no, fair. Justice is what we decide. It's just, right? It's a decision. I okay. mean, the justicial system. It's a, it's a man-made book, yeah. set of rules. Yes. And, and the set of rules is not working very well. We need to change that system so that okay. the rich pay more taxes mm -hmm. and so the poor don't have to starve. Okay. I agree with that. But you cannot abolish the system. That, okay. That's not the way to... What, what could you even... Um, there's nothing to distribute then. You have to have something to pay for the poor, their resources. There has to be resources to redistribute. And if you abolish trade... Okay becomes impossible. But uh, um, again, we come to that, that I said that we don't have to trade, we have to share with each other. Yeah, okay? I agree. But, so, so that, but it, that there, here is this human psychology again. Okay. If, I, if I can go to the store and pick up a pair of socks when I need them, okay. why should I work? Okay, uh, yes. Now, now this is the, the, first of all, this is what I said, that if 100 years ago you said, to Swedish 200 years ago that this system will come and if you don't work you get uh, your your salary mm. and if you no it's actually if you can't work yeah you, you have can. to work if you can't yes but if you don't have any work as well uh, you you get uh, one year you get your salary and then the welfare yeah. system if but you can they tell you you know you have to look for a job yes you have and to if, look for if a you job. don't Okay. Then you're off. The, you okay. Don't then get you anyone. get you get a social benefit as well. Okay. Then yeah, you, they won't let you starve, but okay. that's about okay. it. Yes. I mean. So anyway, if uh, you said to to, pe to people that uh, such a world will exist, they wouldn't uh, believe you. Mm -hmm. But today is, uh, and then as I said that, when everybody believe in that, okay, when uh, Prophet Muhammad was born and said that working is a worship, okay, then if you want to be uh, rewarded by heaven. Then you learn. People learn from childhood that this is the system, okay? And if you want to go to heaven, you have to sacrifice, you have to work hard because it's a worship instead, you know, getting money, instead of getting money, you get rewards from God. And when you teach people that your God wants to, that you work, you sacrifice the most, you work the most, and you get the least, okay? Like this, uh, one more example I can give you, an uh, argument I can give you. Professor, then what is the difference between human and animals if we just think about ourselves? I'm not going to work because I don't get mm. money, okay? Yes. I'm not animal, I want to sacrifice. Like one, one more professor example, that there are doctors without borders. They go to Africa, and they sacrifice, they don't get money. They have been studying whole life, okay? And they want to serve people, okay? So, God gives them a reward for that. They don't get money. Money is, uh, you know, instead, in that world, instead of money, we get reward, we get, we sacrifice for God. He says, here, he says that, I told you that, we created you men and women equally. The best of you in front of us is the one with the most sacrifice. Okay, so if the more you sacrifice, the more human you are. For me, human is not a form, professor. Animal is not a form either. It's a way of life. Mm. Human is also a way of life for me. So if you want to become a human, if you want to die as a human, live like as a human, then you have to sacrifice more, not for money. Mm. Okay, okay, I study hard, I work hard because I want to get billionaires. No, I work hard, I study hard because I want to help people, because I want to cure people, because I want that everybody else have better than, as I said, this organization, for example, that I follow, okay, they are highly educated, they left their lives, their beautiful lives, and they went to fight for people, many of them got killed, because they were thinking that I want a better life for people, yes. not for myself. So 
I see them as human. I see them, they are human. So, yes. so this is my topic actually, because I have written a book, uh, I'm a bi biologist, professor yes. okay. of biology. Yes. So when you look at life, okay. it's a, you look out in the world and you see everywhere, you don't see selfishness. You mm -hmm. see cooperation, you see animals helping other animals. Yes. Even our bodies are made of cells okay. working together, okay. sacrificing themselves for the, for the whole, yes. so to speak. That's actually a hallmark of life. Mm -hmm. So how did this evolve? That's uh, that's my book, yes. uh, and it's it's a very natural process. So you expect cooperation everywhere naturally. It's part of our psychology also. But this they do that, sorry, uh, animals. I see that uh, even in uh, uh, documentaries, uh, movies. I see that when the lion comes, everyone run away. Okay, when the lion take okay, one of so them, lion... they just look. Uh, they so, don't come and help, okay? <laughs> so lions are, you know, it's different between the sexes. The females, mm -hmm. they cooperate with each other, they help each other hunt yes, and so okay. on. The males have yes. competition, yeah. and they fight, yes. and when there's a new male, he comes, he, he chases away the other male. Yes, yes. So it's not always cooperation, it's not always competition, but yes. sometimes... It, that's for surviving. Sorry? That's, that's for that's their nature. It doesn't yes, come. But you see, cooperation is part of their yes. nation and competition yes. is part of their nation. And we have the same things. So, yes. so when we help each other, yes. it actually feels good. If you do something mm -hmm. good, yes. it, you, you get a reward in your in your, your brain, releases yes. some chemicals that makes makes yes. you feel very good. Yes. And and um, so it's a natural thing to help. Yes. It, but not always. It's also a natural thing to compete. And you you have to see this. So it's a natural thing to want. Yes. It's a natural thing to save your children yes. before your neighbor's children yes. and so on. It's a Professor, I yes. have a question. Sorry. Uh, I believe, first of all, I, I say, I believe that if we sacrifice, we do it from our knowledge, from our teachings, not from our nature. And animals, if they do that also, they do it from, they do it from their nature. Not from their knowledge because they don't have any knowledge. Okay? You are completely correct, but it's we have two things. Yes. We have nature and we have knowledge. Yes. Exactly. And, and when these things work together, we can do marvelous things. Yes. When they work against each other, it becomes much more difficult. Yes. Yeah. Okay. But if, for example, uh, what I'm saying is about from our knowledge. Yeah. Okay. This uh, behavior of sacrifice. I can give you an example that, for example, let's say a terrible man like Adolf Hitler. Mm -hmm. Okay, I believe that if Adolf, if you clone Adolf, Adolf Hitler, and you put it in my family, mm -hmm. okay, he would never become Adolf Hitler mm -hmm. in my home. My brother actually, he sacrificed his life. He was seven years in jail, and he was executed. Uh, he could just save his life. I'm sorry. Okay, no, it's okay. Thank you. Uh, he could just save his life. My mother, for example, many times was telling him, uh, dear son, do something and come out from jail. He was saying that, mom, do you like that I uh, kill some, uh, reveal some of my friends and the government kill them just because I want to come out? My mom was saying, of course, no. So he sacrificed himself for others. So if Adolf Hitler was uh, grown up in my family, he would never become Adolf Hitler. The place, if you were born in Adolf Hitler's I would family, perhaps become him as well. I don't think so. I mean, you have both, you have a nature also. You mean that, sorry, sorry. You so mean, you have to be... You mean this, you mean this uh, humanity, this uh, sacrifice is in my nature, is not in my nature. No, it's both. It's both. So some people are born with a little bit more inclination of sacrificing okay. themselves from others. Mm -hmm. Some people are born with a little less of that. Mm -hmm. And... and it also makes a big difference what family you are put in. If you are put in a family where you have to compete all the time and it's a good thing, then you come out very competitive. And if it's another family, it becomes a different person. Mm -hmm. So you have both. So uh, uh, as I know, even I think Bruce Lee was saying, <laughs> you know Bruce Lee, he was saying that we are water. If you put us in a cup, we take the form of cup. If you put us in a jar, we take the form yeah. of jar. Okay, and I believe also that exactly that. Okay. In, uh, you know, there is a famous uh, Jesuit scholar who said that 
give me the child and I will give you the man. You, you, he could make anyone. Exactly. It turns out this is not the case. Okay. You cannot, for example, uh, they have tried this. You know, sometimes children are born and you cannot tell what if they are male or female. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, and so you try to raise them and you cut off the part that looks like a male and you okay. try to raise them as a... A female, okay. but it turns out they were really male, okay. that, and you cannot change that. It, it's, it's that's in, the nature. I know. I understand. That one I understand. Yeah, because they are born like that. But it's the same for okay. all the traits we have. Okay. That some traits we just are like that, mm -hmm. and some traits we can learn. It's both. Okay, but the, um, so I think I don't think you could become Hitler. Okay, the, I think uh, what I believe is that. Uh, everything matter, okay? Yes. I would become perhaps the same one, okay? I would become uh, also a racist, and uh, I would uh, also become a defeated. This is what I believe, and uh, uh, I believe that this is the system, okay, that make us bad people, and allow us, not only make us, but even allow us to become rich, to become powerful, okay? Um, for example, we talked about that democracy, that there is no democracy in. I have to tell you now about this, that democracy doesn't exist in religion, okay? Uh, <clears throat> if we follow, no one followed what I'm going to tell you now. If we follow and understand um, uh, this Abrahamic religion, okay, that what is a mosque, church, and synagogue for? Then we realize that God wants us to live in a best democracy world, okay? Professor, there was an election recently as well. There are two types of democracies can exist. One type exists, which is indirect democracy. Another one is direct democracy, which doesn't exist today. In Switzerland? Direct democracy. Yes, you, you gather on a square and you vote for each issue. Okay, uh, I didn't know that it exists there, okay? You mean that they don't, they don't have an election day or? Sorry? Institute? Yes, they have a day where they go and they, but I mean, it's different for, this is for local communities. Okay, this is for local communities. Yes. Okay. So and then how about the parliament and president? How yes, that's, that's the, because there are so many, so you can't actually run a country when you have that many. Okay. It, with direct democracy. So okay. they have a, both systems. All right. Uh, okay, they have the both system. But anyway, um, most countries on the planet, okay, they are either dictatorship or they have indirect democracy, okay? Mm -hmm. And indirect democracy uh, is working uh, the same way here in Sweden, that mm -hmm. uh, every four years uh, you have to go to ballot, ballot boxes and then put your vote. And we cannot have this uh, voting day uh, often because it is expensive, yeah. this is uh, impossible. A lot of people have to work on that. So the direct democracy is, uh, a democracy that people can change their leaders anytime they want, okay? And for that, as you said, you have to gather in a place. So now there was a beautiful thing also that I found out when I was in India. The difference between mosque, church, and synagogue to a temple, okay? A temple is a place that you can have it at home. But mosque, church, synagogue, you cannot have it at home. Temple can be small sizes, big sizes, okay? And to a temple, you can go whenever you want. There is no a fixed time, okay? But mass church synagogue, you have a fixed time every week, especially. The people have to come and gather there. In uh, temples, you don't have uh, speakers. But in these three places, you have ex uh, you know, a speaker. So I found out that why God wants us to gather at the same time. And who is that representative? Unfortunately, now, today, these priests, they have taken over. But in reality, these places is for direct democracy. Imagine that you go there every week, not only you vote for your leaders, you talk to your representative who is connected directly to the parliament. You talk to your repre representative about your problems in your area as well, and then your leaders, you say that we do not want this leader. They can change your leader anytime they want, people. Yeah. So these mosques, church, and synagogues are a place for gathering and voting for their leaders. I have never seen a vote in a 
Yeah, never. Yeah. No, never. I tell you that. I never heard of it. Yes, you never heard it. And it is not happening. That's why I say they are using it in a wrong way. Okay? Mm. So I believe and I found out and I realized the difference between these places, okay, um, temple and these three places, is that God wants us to gather and meet each other at the same time. Okay? So why he wants to meet us is just because of that, because he wants us to live in this direct democracy, which is a perfect uh, way, and it will solve a lot of problems from the so humanity. So you think, uh, does it matter in Switzerland they meet in the town square? Okay, they meet in the, no, it, it doesn't matter in reality, but what I believe is that, what I believe is that, uh, I, I believe that these places, if we use them in a better way, mm. in the right way, of course, I mean, if we use them in the right way, it, they can gather people better, they have better um, this, um, what do you call it, how can, magnetic uh, mm. system maybe you can say. People come together there more because it is both uh, praying uh, attraction. The attraction is much better than uh, just gather in a, in, in a square, for example. Mm. Okay? So, so I think, if you go to a football stadium, for example, there's more people there. Yes. Is that better? No, uh, for, that's not, uh, foot, uh, football stadium is not um, uh, made for that. It's not made for that. It's made for, for match, okay? But yeah, the, but a church is made for worship. I yes. mean, it's, it's, you can use it for okay. whatever. Yes, it's, it's a reality. Uh, they think it's made for worship. But I said, what I said is that I believe that it's made for meeting. Okay, again, you have your own interpretation yes, of, yes. of the thing. But isn't it nice? Isn't it nice? It doesn't it no, match? No, because I'm not religious. No, I so I don't want to meet in a church. Yes, but that doesn't it match, Professor? Doesn't it make sense that okay, yes, God wants us meet each other at the same time. If He wanted to that we pray worship, yeah, He would uh, say like temples. Okay, you can go whenever you want. But you know, in India, for example, they they gather for festivals. Yes. And they meet God at the same time. Yes. I, I don't see... That's festivals, yeah, yeah. once, I don't know uh, how often. No, and they don't very have, often. You yes. have, you've been doing and it. they don't have these speakers, there is representative, and then the sizes, I've been there also many times, okay? Mm. The sizes is uh, not made like, for example, in these three places, you have benches or you can sit, okay? Mm. People sit. It's just made for listening yeah. to someone. It's because it's because there is a match, there is a faith that you have to communicate. In India, it's much more personal. Yes, and, and you can you can meet God in different yeah. ways. And yeah. I think actually that's a good idea that yes. you can, if you, for example, will want to meet him through uh, love or through your brain mm -hmm. or through your work. It, it, everything has its own place. In, okay. in uh, for example, Abrahamic okay. religions, there is the church, and that's it. And you have okay. to. Uh, meet God the way that it's told to you. Yes, and I'm not sure that's a good way to be religious. It's 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 much more boxed in. Yes. And I think But I said professor it's not different. for meeting God. Mm. As I said that it's mostly yeah. for, for meeting each other. Yes. Then okay, I think a town you... square is much nicer because then I can be there as well. Yes, okay. Uh, wherever, okay, wherever but uh, it has to be local. Mm -hmm. Wherever but it has to be local, okay? That so how do we solve a problem like now with the global warming, for example? It's a, it, it's a global problem. Okay, this is a problem, yes. Okay, mm. it's a, exactly, it's a problem. And I believe that this is uh, the system, okay, that that 1% or 5%, I don't know, they want to become richer, okay, and they don't care about polluting the world, okay? And, uh, you know, now USA got off that uh, agreement as well because it is not beneficial for them, they lose money. So all is about money. Even that one will be solved, okay, by getting rid of this system that, uh, not only that, nuclear bombs, what for we need nuclear bombs? For example, what for we need an uh, army when nobody attack each other, okay? No, but this is, a, this is not the world. Okay. This is a fantasy. Right? Fantasy, okay. Um, but if God, if I, when I prove that in my religion, okay, that interpretation, if it is nice, okay, if you, that it says, that uh, book says that this is the source and this is the solution and it says that it is possible. God says in Quran, Professor, we promise you that one day the oppressed will rule and inherit the planet. 
Okay? Same in the Bible, yes. Okay, exactly. And there are two categories in, in Quran. Oppressed and oppressor. Okay? So if we don't just listen and pass by and analyze it, when there are two uh, uh, categories, the oppress, oppressor are uh, ruling the planet today, that 1%. They are ruling the planet. There will be a, a day, one day, which we believe that it is Mahdi time, mm -hmm. and Jesus time, mm -hmm. and when they come, okay? Which I told you that it's just a story. We are Mahdi, we are Jesus. We can change it, okay? So if come that day that the oppressed will rule and inherit the planet, then there will be no oppressed anymore. This will disappear. There will be one level. No oppressed, no oppressor. So this is a promise from God that one day oppressed will disappear and oppressor will disappear. There will be one level, one class, okay? And one more thing, Professor. One sign of Mahdi time, which I heard it as a child with it. When Mahdi comes, you go to the store and you buy things not by money. Money doesn't exist. They told us, I, I heard it as a child that you just pray and get it, okay? So for me, this is beautiful, and this couldn't be um, uh, a word of some, uh, an illiterate man 1400 years ago, okay? For me, uh, it was words of um, God, that he knew the source of our problems, he explained for us all these things, that there is a force that can lead you to bad deeds. And that force, his power is through poverty. He explained all these things. That this force, which is called Satan, leads you to bad, bad deeds. And everywhere I see that all these pieces of puzzle when, I, puzzle, when I put them together, I see the clear picture that this is um, the devil, is the, the capitalism, and that's capitalism, make us all bad deeds, okay? And I gave you many examples about that. Your wallet, if you leave it in a cashier, where you can get it 100%, where you cannot get it 100%. Everything tells us that this system make us to do bad deeds, okay? And he wants us, as I said also, he be asking 17 times a day that, show me the right way, okay? And he show us the right way, which is their equality. And he say, okay, now worship it. Okay, so we have to worship it and we will get, if we go to that world, and it is so beautiful in Quran that, Professor, you can be a prophet of God without even believing in God. Quran says that, God says in Quran that prophets and those who spread the message of equality, the killer of them is equivalent to the killer of a prophet. Okay, it's not just interpretation of me, there was a cleric who was saying also that that it is not about Muslims, these words. It's about non-Muslims. Okay? Because when we think about it, that Quran says prophets. Prophets, we know who are they. Those who were contacted by God directly. And then it comes and says, and those, those are not Muslims and prophets. If we were Muslims, God would say, and Muslims. But he didn't say and Muslims. He said and those. Those means anybody. Who spread the message of equality? It says test in Arabic. It means test. But interpretation of this test is for me is equality. With everything else I put them together is equality. If you spread that message and somebody kill you, Professor, you are as a prophet of God. Because you are carrying on and spreading the same message they were going to spread. Okay? Without being contacted by God, they were contacted directly by God, but you accept it and you uh, spread it without being contacted by God. The more you spread it, the more you sacrifice for that, the more you become a prophet of God. So we have all chances of becoming prophet of God. We all have a chance, a chance to become a Mahdi or Jesus or Messiah to save humanity. Tell you, this is a much nicer version of uh Islam, okay. um, the Islamic State, oh. Iran, they, Saudi Arabia, they, they are, they are, Indonesia, they, they all are. these places have a, uh, your, your version is much nicer. Thank you very much. But I still cannot buy into it. Okay. But thank you for sharing it. Yes, you're me. welcome, Professor. But uh, I think, uh, yes, just one, uh, some minutes, Professor. But 
uh, you think about it as well that this is a beautiful world, okay? Yes, it's a beautiful, beautiful vision. vision. Uh, it's a beautiful vision. It's not and it is possible. And if you believe in that's God. That's not. Yes, yes okay. That's, that, that's where you leave me. I don't <laughs> think it's possible to. But, yeah, I'm trying to spread it, okay? Yes. As John Lennon said, mm -hmm. I wish. Uh, one day you join us, <laughs> and the world will become one as well. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank yes. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thanks very much. Nice thank you very much.